Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Victor Altamirano versus Felipe Dos Santos. Victor Altamirano, 12 and 3, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 2 and 2 in his last four. He's a plus 230 underdog at 33 years old, 5'8 with a 70 inch reach. Fighting Felipe Dos Santos, who's 7 and 1, 3, 1 and 0 oh, and 1. No contest in there. Minus two, 285. Uh, 23 years old, 5'7", 70 inch reach as well. His arms seem so much longer. So much longer. <laughs> Actually one inch shorter than, Vic than Victor Altamirano. Again, this is a very interesting matchup. If you, if you watch Victor Altamirano, Moreno, he fought Tim Elliott in a very, very weird style. The grappling is what really held Victor really bad in that fight. Held up badly. Now, I believe there was a fight he had won. I think, it, yeah, I think it was the Daniel Lacerdo fight where he was uh, dropped, I believe. Hurt real bad. Something we really, really seen that was used well for Felipe Dos Santos. Some people thought he beat, beat Manel Cop. He did not beat that. He did not beat that. Beat Manel Cop. He did not win that fight. So... His striking looked really good. He actually looked really powerful, stinging Manal Cop a couple of times. I don't think Victor Altamirano can take that those those punches, that punishment from him. Um, again, it, it's a very interesting matchup because here, let's see, UFC 298. It's interesting because striking defense for Victor, I don't think is. Uh, horrible. The thing that's weird about it is, I, I we, we've seen him get hurt before. Strikes landed per minute five to six point six. Striking accuracy is fifty seven to thirty two. Strikes absorbed per minute is three point nine nine to seven point four seven, which is only the one for uh, when he fought Men uh, Menel Cop, who is a legit contender in that division. Um, takedowns, 2.1, takedown accuracy, 25, 63 for takedown defense. These Now, defense, striking defense is 53 to 38. It's different because Manel Cop is better than every single person Victor Altamirano has, has fought, and Manel Cop would absolutely flatline Victor Altamirano. Sorry to tell you that. The biggest difference for me in this matchup is, is Felipe Don Santos is power in his strikes. I think he's able to hurt Victor a ton in this fight. If he doesn't finish him with his punches, I see him getting submissions. Five finishes out of seven wins. Only lost that decision against, again, Mel, uh, Manel Cop. You know, hasn't even fought a contender series. Just a guy that took a chance, took a short notice fight against Manel Cop, who is ranked, which is nuts. Um, and... Some people thought he won the fight. I didn't think he won the fight, but he definitely won my vote. Um, as I want to see what this guy can do next. So, I like Felipe, Felipe Dos Santos. Victor Altamirano has been pretty damn durable in his career. Three losses, like I said. Only one by submission. And that was not back in... That was all the way back in 2019 by Jared Brooks. Actually was in the UFC as well. 20-2 and two right now. Uh, actually knocked himself out when he fought Jose Torres, who was real bad in the UFC. But again, lost a close split decision to Carlos Hernandez and then lost to Tim Elliott because of the wrestling and the, you know, crazy style of Tim Elliott. I really, really like Felipe Dos Santos in this matchup. And as always, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.